I'm going to solve one more problem. This is extremely simple problem. So you're going to calculate the filtration time. and We're going to deal with the constant pressure filtration. So let me read the problem. So we need to recover some product from the filter fermentation broth. So we decided to use some filtration setup. In this case, you're going to use a dead end filtration. The density of the product is 10 kilogram per meter cube. Viscosity is uh, 0 0.0001 kilogram per meter seconds. And then the filtration area is one meter square. And we're going to operate the filtration unit at constant pressure. And that pressure difference is 0.1 megapascal. So all you need to calculate is the filtration time when the filtered volume is 0.5 meter cube. And we have the resistance offered by the medium, which is 7 to 10 to the power of 11 meters per kilogram. And then we also have the alpha factor, which is 3.5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 10, 1 divided by meters. So I already wrote the formula. So this is for a constant pressure filtration. Then if you know the volume of filtrate, then we can calculate the time. So you, are, you have all the values here. You have mu, mu which is equal to 0 0.001 kg per meter meter second sorry that's nothing but equal to 0 0.001 pascal seconds you have rm value and then you have alpha value and then you have delta p which is equal to 0 0.1 mega pascal this is equal to uh, 10 to the power of 5 pascals you have area a area that's equal to how much it is equal to one meter square and uh, you also have volume of filtrate which is equal to 0.5 cubic meters so all you need to calculate is t so how to do that so t is equal to vf multiplied by mu rm divided by a into delta p plus mu alpha rho zero this is like a two marks problem maybe maybe one mark problem i will say vf by two so multiply vf square sorry all you need to do is substitute the value so t will be equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by 0 0.001 multiplied by rm is 7 into 10 to the power of 11 so there is no need to convert any units. They all are in correct units here. Area is given by one multiplied by delta P is 10 to the power of five pascals plus mu is again 0 0.001 multiplied by alpha is 3.5 into 10 to the power of 10 multiplied by density is uh, 10 divided by area is one square delta p is 10 to the power of 5 multiplied by um, vf is our volume of filtrate that's 0.5 square divided by 2 so this should give your t value i didn't calculate the t value so i want you to use the calculator and try to solve the, the problem so you will get something in seconds So I'm not going to solve this problem, so I will leave leave it to you. So you have to come up, use the calculator, try to solve this, and tell me what's the time in seconds. So I'm going to stop recording. Stop the rec. Stop the recording. Oh, time t equal to. Give me a second. Uh, t is equal to point five. What's the unit meter cube? Pascal seconds. Rm is in meter per kg. Divided by area is in meter square. Pascals. Mm -hmm. Pascals, Pascals get cancelled. Meter square, meter and 
so this one will become meter square plus here what you have pascal seconds alpha is in 1 by meters so divided by meters density is in kilogram so meter cube area is in meter square pascals meter cube meter cube meter cube get cancelled pascal pascals gets cancelled trying to solve the unit to check whether it's correct or not meter square Sorry, this is an empirical expression. No, no, this is correct. This is the this is the theory. So according to this theory, if you substitute everything with the units which is given, then you should get the answer in seconds. That's how the, the parameters are correlated to, to each other. This is not even a good idea to solve for units. This is purely an empirical correlation. So try to solve this value and whatever the number you get that will be in seconds. Thanks for listening.